Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's been a while since I just record something because I think for the last two, last week or something, week or two, I've been actually record, uh, posting videos that I recorded like a week or two ago because I didn't have a school at time, so I forgot. Yeah, so I've been using all of those videos, Rewind, Rewind Rumble, um, what else? I think it's a death bell also, too. Yeah, yeah, it was Naruto versus Ichigo. Yeah, I mean, anyways, yeah, you can just find it on my channel. But anyways, yes, um... Yes, I'll be reacting to the creepy pasta free for all, and things like to figure out your name. I'll put it up above me right now. Thank you for that guy who recommended me this video. Well, not recommend me, but remind me about this video because I t I legit forgot all about the creepy pasta free for all. And I was just like, oh yeah, I was like, I'm gonna do this fight like the week of. What was it, the week of um, Halloween? But then I forgot. But then, yeah, it, it was like a whole different thing. But anyways, yes, um, Creepy Pasta or Free For All. I'm going to wait until the roster because I, because I totally feel like this should be more. But if we're just basing this off of everybody that's on the thumbnail right now, I will say Gumball XE should win. Because, okay, because one, he can be compared to Gumball. Wait. But he should be compared to Gumball, if not a little bit stronger. But maybe his durability may be cut in half, or maybe the same durability as Gumball. But mainly, Gumball is a dangerous person. But even though with 2 Force 2. Mm -hmm. Get the picture? Mm -hmm. Creepypasta plus Gumball equals a freaking, uh, freaking uh, a Satan right there that cannot die unless you can bypass the Doom Force or you're stronger or, or unless you're overpowered Gumball. But yes, um, I'm gonna wait for the full roster. If this is the full roster, I am signing with um, Gumball EXE. But without further ado, guys. Do this, shrink this, put you up there, right now. It's been a while since I actually reacted to um, Cartoon Night Club because I've been focusing on um, other videos too, all the channels. What's up, everyone? Welcome to this long awaited episode. So, sorry about that. Um, I had to do something real quick. I had to do something real quick. And that took longer than I thought. Without further ado, guys, let's begin this video once again right now. Episode of Cartoon Fight Club. I'm your host, Animation Rewind. And if you're new to the series, be sure to check out the that thing I am new. I've been watching videos for a while, bro. Then let's get ready for the fight. And this fight needs no introduction necessary. That's right, we've got the creepy pasta free for all. But what does need an introduction uh, is the long hype roster. So it's time to reveal who exactly is in this thing. We have a total of 32 characters. I see Barney EXE, yeah, so. A lot of them are new. So without further ado, let's go through a roll call. Starting with Sonic EXE, Mario EXE, Barney EXE, Loud, Possess Naruto, Gumball EXE, Cuphead EXE, Suicide Squidward, Dead Bark, Glitchy Red, Photo Negative Mickey, Suicide Mouse, Hunger, Hero Bright, Tails Doll, Ben Drown, Jeff the Killer, Red, Smiley Dog, <laughs> Slenderman, The Rake, Happy Yappy, Killager, Jane the Killer, 66, Vengeance Mountina, Shanka Dawanka, Bloody Rose, Gitterzilla, 
Genocide is the crazy meat hacker and the green gas. Now, since a good chunk of these are returning fighters, there's no need to waste your time regurgitating you with the same information. Plus, we got a total of 32. So it would be best for mm -hmm. everyone if we just focus on the newcomers. That way we can save time and save energy for everyone. Yeah. Without further ado, let's Funny, introduce yeah, you win. Fight Clubs. Next round. So, uh... what? Hey everyone, Rachel here with another daily update from the Pokemon Go Travel Global Catch Challenge. I Time do not care. The question that everyone's been asking. Have we caught enough Pokemon to unlock? No one cares. One day, the Loud siblings were all having a huge fight. Everyone was mad at each other, but Lincoln wanted everyone to make up. So Lucy decided to agree with him and give it a try. But something went horribly wrong during the apology ritual, which unleashed massive amounts of evil energy upon the house. Hmm. Each child was forcibly mashed and fused together into one giant amalgamation. Cuphead.exe takes on that the devil looks creepy. and siding with the devil. He joins the dark side and his in-game code gets possessed and does pretty much everything every other Sonic.exe ripoff does. They try to kill the player. <laughs> this is a bad habit with the .exe slap-ons that a lot of creepypastas face, but it's not up to me on who decides these origins. According to someone's fan fiction, an episode of Spongebob once aired where for 24 seconds in the episode, Squidward killed himself by taking a shotgun to the face. People try to make it a mystery why Squidward committed suicide, but come on guys, it's not hard to tell. If you need me to explain why Squidward hates his life, then you clearly have no idea who Squidward is. Next, we yeah. have Dead Bar. According to this creepypasta story, there was a lost episode in the first season of The Simpsons where the real Bart dies by falling out of a plane and crashing to his death. Apparently, this episode never saw the day of life, and whoever yeah. tries to download the episode will get their computers fried. Dead Bar has no real abilities other than being Bart but dead. Everyone loves Red from the Pokemon game, but Glitchy Red is the exact opposite. Instead of trying to catch all the Pokemon, Glitchy Red tries to catch the souls of all the players who play this hack game. Hmm. Glitchy Red can distort the game and cause malfunctions as well. Photo Negative Mickey Mouse is the main antagonist in the game Five Nights at Treasure Island. This is a resort that Disney banned from the public. People think that photo negative Mickey Mouse is some kind of monster, but in reality, it's just a mascot worker who got stuck in a messed up Mickey suit. Next we really? have Hunger. He was a biochemist before he turned into a leech when a mysterious alien infected him and made him such a thing. Like the leech, he hungers for blood and meat, and he has really sharp claws that make great for slicing up humans. Red is the main antagonist in the NES Godzilla creepypasta. Red is a shapeshifter with multiple forms. His form of choice is the ground form. His personality can easily be described as pure evil. During the chase scenes, contact with him is instantly fatal. To beat him, you would need to be more powerful than him. Well, duh. Moving on, <laughs> we have the rank. The rank embarks a creepypasta that mainly resides oh, in the, of the New York State and has once been seen in Idaho. This creature is one that is always in crouched position and has long rake leg claws on its hands, coining its nickname, the rake. Hmm. According to the Happy Happy Creepypasta, there was once a children's VHS episode that starred a happy apple known as Happy Happy. But as the creepypasta ends up describing, the only thing that this apple is happy for is your... Yeah, yeah, okay, give me another second. Sorry about that, guys. Again, this is literally the second time I had to pause the video so I can do my thing, but I. Sh but there should be another one coming up pretty soon, so I'm not sure when that's happening. And as soon as I say that, it like literally pops up. But, anyways, let's get along with this now. And I realized the speaker was over so there. Watch out. Good thing, though, it's just a talking apple. Enough of these <laughs> loudmouth creepypastas. Let's get some silent but deadly ones. The Killiger is a creepypasta villager. Most Animal Crossing games are ready to eat for I, everyone. I thought, about, the um, I thought it was going to be a Godzilla EXE. This little boy seems all nice and sweet. Until he uses everyday gardening tools to murder the entire city. Jane the Killer is the perfect example what? of Rule 63. Rule 63 pretty much states that if a character exists, 
a gender swap spinoff of that character also exists. <laughs> Jane is pretty much a beat for beat female version of Jeff the Killer, all the way down to her crazy attitude and sharp butcher knife. Next up, we have <laughs> Bloody Rose. Bloody Rose started off with a normal life until the day she radically lost her sister in a fire. This made her go insane. Today, huh. she's a sociopathic knife killer with the ability to make shadow clones and has mastered the art of knife combat. Shadow clone jutsu. Of 750 MPH or roughly Mach 1. Ginnerzilla was a hybrid creature in the fake emulation of Super Godzilla. As a hybrid monster, this beast does have some incomplete and developing qualities, but it's still very powerful and a good rival to the previously discussed Red Monster. Next up, mm. we have Genocide Kazan. This form of Kazan is the exact opposite of his original incarnation. He plots to commit genocide on any OC that he deems toxic to the OC community. He has a long history of OC huntings and gets stronger after every victory. And really? last but not least, we have the Green Ghast. The Green Ghast is far more than just a normal Minecraft Ghast that's the color green. This thing survived lolaloud.exe and was created by the mighty Ethan the Green Chester in hopes to tackle the most dangerous and powerful creepypastas the world can imagine. This thing can fly, has many gas-like abilities, which puts him in good condition for such a battle. Overall, huh. the creepypasta roster has a total of 32 fighters. Each fighter has their own unique abilities and traits. And now, let's set ourselves... Yeah, Barney Dyexy will win no man. What? Now, you fool! I mean, you could argue that Squid, Suicide Squidward can play some jazz music, so it can kill itself, but I highly doubt it would do that. Ugh, oh my god. Get ready for a, for at least, for at least a 20 minute sit right here. Oh, I got a jump scare. I feel it. Not the best time. I hate, I hate horror games. I'm already freaking my eye. Oh, <laughs> they hate horror games. They think horror related. <laughs> I hate horror games. They think horror related. <laughs> Let's get this episode over with already. I could have a heart attack with my tails. I could have a heart attack right there. Ugh. Japanese, 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 Japanese. Oh, I'm gonna walk this with my feet. It hurts. Oh. Oh my, oh, you don't give me friend. I'm jump scares. The muscle of my feet killing me from that last one. No, the first one. Lincoln. Watch out. Buddy. It's Barney. Oh my God! It actually, it actually Barney dot exe actually blares out that um nice Barney song. Let's get crazy. I didn't say please. I don't think you need to say please. So he just rewind time 
Join me on the battlefield. The ads, the amount of ads are in this video right now. I'm gonna just go put an ad count, an ad count um of how many ads pops up in the reaction. Believe it. Run, Dumbo, run! It's coming after you! Are you going towards it? Ah, oh, my feet muscles! They kill me! Oh my god, Super, um, Super Sonic EXE! Okay. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Okay. <laughs> oh, uh, well, should we fight? I'm, co I'm a bit confused here. Okay. Honestly. Meanwhile. <laughs> Dude, budget. Damn you, budget. Damn you. We can have a nice thing with budgets. Here we are. I'm done with all the burning e EXE crap. I'm going back to normal. Fiesto. <laughs> yeah, I'm going back to normal. Screw all this EX EXE crap. I'm going back to normal, me. There's no way in hell. Wait, didn't um, your favorite Canadian YouTuber make this part? This, uh, this scene? Ah! You're right. I am God! Oh, it's um, Gucci, uh, Gucci Red? Uh, okay, I think he's dead. Yeah, I stand corrected. I think he's dead. Oh my god. What just happened? So mainly they both just kill each other. Okay, yeah, they're in their name. Suicide Mouth and Suicide Squidward. Get to the chopper. Get to the chopper. Get in the mountain chopper. Regen. My guy. That the the what was it? The um heel grind really does the die when the sunk's underwater and he's running out of air? That's the music. But sounds like a remix. But literally, Hero Brand vs. Sonic EXE? Is that even a question? Is that even a question? Literally, Sonic EXE would kill him no matter what. You didn't even know your skills. Steve and Steve is. Is so slow to compare to all the other characters. Four. Literally, he is so slow. Compared to a good majority of anime characters, they are extremely slow. They are at least faster than the speed of sound, or at least 200 miles per hour. At least bare minimum of what I see. Even the Megas already can now see. Even though the very, the very, the first, the first gen Megas already can outrun a freaking hero grind. Ben Brown versus 
Oh, Jeff the guy? Oh, Ooh, Jeff the one. Jeff the one. I'm Pickle Rick! Pickle Rick! Iris is my love. You cannot have her. Hold on! I'm not done yet! Psych, I wish I could. Okay. What did you just say? Well, I feel like I heard that one before. I am the orange diamond. Die! Really, nigga? Yeah, I think I'll let him hit him. Hit me. Or I'll kill him. Either way. Happy Apple versus Red. He better die. He gives me the glory. I swear, one of these, one of these, um, Green pots that just came out of nowhere just kill me. I swear. My last choice of word will be. Okay, choice of words will be. Can I post this video? Can I post this video? The kid can't be last. There's someone else I want to kill. Yeah, just sit on the wild goose cake chase. What are we talking about? Who the hell is him? Is that supposed to be 66? My orders are to capture you. Is that supposed to be 66 or a female version of um Jeff the uh not Jeff the Killer, it's Joker. You know, I'm not even gonna say what the sound effects sound like. Five. Five ads. Whoa. Oh, oh. Really? Guns of glory? Really? Wait, that was on. Oh, I swear to you. Oh, good, baby, the highest quality. Hey, you're fired. What? Um. I think you got him. Dude, Teal Slap. Oh, my God. He's a fire his lasers. Die. 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 It didn't work. Hey man, it did. Come and get me, I'm a Galgan. Damn it. I'm a Galgan. Damn it. I'm missing my attacks. I don't know what attacks. I'm quite impressed. I seem to have grown. I love reading that one. Ah, earring. Ah, oh. and then one day, my guy came to shop. You still can read this. It's the true legend. The he killed MLG and Creepy Pasta. Like the hero of 
six items from his buddy Ravio. What? He upgrades these weapons into nice weapons. The nice weapons consist of the nice bombs, which are twice as powerful as regular bombs. The nice food. <laughs> I've never seen a mobile game that play like this. Uh, 60 people fighting on the battlefield. Are you kidding me? I didn't know it was possible to Skip. I think this is six or seven. Red. Uh wait. Someone help me. What about the sound effects? The other thing, dude, don't hit him loud. Try me! <gasps> Try attack! <coughs> I get hurt now. Oh. Right. Let's go. Let's go. Hey. Let's go. Do kill people. Sure is nice to have you here. Uh, we gotta stop killing him. Let's see what else we can do. Kill oh, some more. Oh my god. Run! Run! Too late. Bye bye. See you later. So long. Bye bye. That was freaking quick. Now I hope you enjoyed that animation. Special thanks to all those involved, such as Sun God, your favorite Canadian YouTuber, Huntsman Draconian. I knew he animated one or two Willie scenes. Ford, I knew Marcus, it. EA Vids, Anthony Stallings, the Pigeon Return Studios, and voice actors such as Catatronic TV, The Orange Diamond, and BTL Video Productions. Thanks to all involved. Check out the description. I knew they sounded familiar channel, and see. And now for I the knew they sounded familiar and I seen the work before. So yeah, the winner is Barney.exe, but please keep in mind that animation wasn't a simulation. Yeah, I know. Barney.exe has hacks like abilities that no other creepypasta can keep up with. Also, there really isn't an efficient way to break down specific categories with stats, considering these are creepypastas. They don't exactly have canonical occurrences and points and evidence for hard stats. Mm -hmm. Regardless, Barney.exe doesn't even need stats to win, and here's why. The only reason why I bring that up is because we can't use this new organized format for these creepypasta characters. It just wouldn't make sense to base statistical reasoning off of like a wiki page or a Google Plus post from an OC submission. Yeah, so we're gonna true that. It down this way. Barney is a dinosaur from your imagination, but Barney.exe is a dinosaur from your nightmares. Whatever his targets fear, he can use against them. Since I was say. occurs in the minds of his victims. He knows exactly what they know, and he knows what they fear. With his black magic, Barney can send any weapon or method of torture he needs to accomplish his goals. Yeah. From machine guns, Hellfire, Magma Storms, and Doom Music. Barney.exe has Doom music. elements Wait. to send you into a game world. Barney.exe music. can also convince mind control towards his victim's family members. This way he can falsely gain their trust and finish them off when they are most susceptible to being victimized. Yeah. The only ways to beat Barney.exe is either through suicide, which means if you kill yourself before he kills you, 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 you die. Pretty but much either the way. The second way is to discover Barney.exe's fears, which is going to be tough. Barney.exe fears yeah. Oompa Loompas, Freeform Jazz, and worst of all, the real Barney. Okay, Barney Jazz. I, I, uh, uh, Freeform Jazz. I tell you something else. To pull up any of these three things off. Yes, you can argue Suicide Squidward can use Freeform Jazz to beat Barney.exe, but Suicide Squidward would kill himself long before he faces Barney.exe in such a confirmation. Other True. than that, Barney is essentially unstoppable because you can't physically damage him. You can only beat Barney.exe mentally. Barney exists as a figment in your imagination, but .exe exists in your nightmares. 
Yeah. This is either a suicide mission that leads to a draw slash technical victory for Barney.exe or an actual victory for Barney.exe. But there's something important I need to state. I specifically did not include Zalgo in this battle. So if you want to see a rematch oh, between Barney no. against Zalgo himself, no. all you have to do is like this video. If this no video gets 10,000 likes, there will be that awaited rematch. Also, don't forget to comment down your own ideas. I do not want that fight to happen, but I want to have the same thing. Next fighters. Yeah, uh, I'm already right behind. Next episode of Cartoon Fight Club. I'm sorry, guys, if I'm dead quiet in a good majority of the video. Revolution. Download now. I'm sorry, guys. I just didn't really have nothing to say. Because it's Thanksgiving. It's Thanksgiving. Oh my god. Goku vs. Godzilla. Really? Why? <laughs> Why is there a match of like. Saturday, so stay tuned for it. If that feels like a lifetime away, please check out the Cartoon Fight Night channel. And the one thing I don't get either is that why actually. Don't forget to check out that Cartoon Fight Club Season 3 update video. It's very important if you care about the third season of Cartoon Fight Club. I'm Animation Rewind, and I'll fast forward to you later. Yeah, but anyways, I do not get why why they even made Goku vs. Godzilla. Because even though Goku wins, no matter what stats Godzilla has against Goku, it is not very much. Straight up, it's not very much. Because Goku is at least universal, universal level. And even if you don't factor in all of his transformations and techniques, he is still a universe buster because, yes, yeah, some can say that his Super Saiyan Blue form is, uh, uh, I don't know what, actually what to say because his God form Blue, his Blue form is technically don't have, well we don't know his multiplier, which it could be two hundred fifty, three hundred, one thousand, uh, one thousand four hundred, or it, or it could be. As the same as Super Saiyan 4. Wait up. No. That, no, 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 no. That's not mine. But, yes. Really. Uh, I mean, yes, Goku would not know which beam to use. Because technically, if it's like, say, a Kamehameha, like a narrow, be a narrow beam. That would not work because then God can regenerate from that. But unless he actually used like a big, like a more wide out beam, like focus his. But yet again, it is gonna need some time so Goku can do that. But anyways, yeah, um, yeah, there is some other videos I will catch up. For example, Cuphead versus Video Game Bosses. Scratch that, not reacting to that because mainly. Cuphead get demolished. He does. He, the one problem that he does have, and this go for his characters too. Well, this is his big, big weakness, which is durability. None of those video game bosses. Well, um, let's see. Egg, but Doctor Robotnik, the Donkey Kong, Ridley. They are freaking so much durable than Cuphead. I don't need to react to that video. I do not. It, his number one problem is durability. He has he has a much 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 better. Everything else is every other stat is better, but his durability is garbage. Even he did sand. I believe. Yeah, I see sand. I see the word sand in there. But sand, you can only take one HP. And he wins. Either way, he wins against Cuphead. Cuphead. You know, this Cuphead is only. Um, yeah, of course, it's going to be trying to make this as nice as possible. Probably, probably putting him down to Mach 1, maybe, at least, or, or, um, can break the sound barrier, or at least 
little ball of sand somehow. But straight up, Cuphead is just doomed from the start. But even though those are powerful freaking um, video game bosses, at least pick something else that's much more easier and scalable to Cuphead. Oh my god, animation rewind. Why? But we'll be reacting to the Loud House versus the Warderson. What else we're looking at? Uh, I think that's it. Yeah, there's some older videos I need to react to. But, yeah. But, yes. Um, yeah, that's mainly all I got to say. Um, yeah, probably. Yeah, I gotta edit this out. But without further ado, guys, cop. Oh, wait, gotta read this. Cop. Please punch the like button, phone, computer, tablet, whatever you do, watch this video. Punch that screen. Subscribe to my channel. Comment down below what do you want me to react to, and I will do it wherever you get a chance. And thank you again. Don't remember your name, I'm sorry, putting that down right below me or above me. Either way, thank you for re reminding me about this video. And yeah, without further ado, without further ado, guys, got two more videos to react to. And then you'll probably either see it before or after this video. I'm not even sure. And also follow me on Patreon if you want to support me and all that stuff. Um, it's always going to be down in, like, in the bottom of the descriptions for each video, of course. But without further ado, guys, peace.